David Benavidez versus Demetrius Andre. You know, both men feel they've been avoided by big name opponents for most of their careers. Both have had their careers guided by their fathers, and most importantly, both are highly motivated to show who's really the best fighter at 168 pounds. I was never handed anything. It was never like, oh yeah, David Benavidez, he's gonna be a world champion in the future. Nobody ever said that. The type of way I had to fight is I had to go really beat somebody up so they can never say nothing about me. And that's always how I fought, even since I was a little kid, you know, I really put everything into it because I did feel a lot of anger. My dad back then, he was super hard on me. But without trauma, there, there can be no greatness. When I look back, it was too much, too much uh, pressure. I was confused and I was lost and we were very close to breaking up. It's been a super long path, you know, but the thing is that every time we focus and ourselves 100% on boxing, we know exactly where we're going. My God, Benavidez now unloading on plan, opening him up like a fridge at midnight. The Mexican monster, Dave. You guys support this man. You know, I don't think nobody could even compare to, to your level. I want to tell you from my heart how proud I'm for, for you guys. It's amazing. It's a super special for me. And I felt mad for all those people saying I wasn't going to be anything, so I really had to show them in a different type of way. I really had to leave no doubt in their head that I really wasn't going to be something. That's exactly how I fight. My upbringing it was it was fighting. I lived in the household was my older brother, me, and my little brother. It was ugly. Every day somebody got a black eye. <laughs> we did karate, we did tennis, we did baseball, we did basketball, football, and my dad was the coach. And uh, he just kept our minds into sports so we wasn't out acting up. My first fight, six years old. It was in the gym, it was making it happen, it was overcoming. I was there every day. And so it became like nature, second nature. And that made me so diverse in the ring where it's just like, what is this kid doing? Whatever the fuck I gotta do to win? Take this, pow! Ooh, pow! <laughs> you know what I'm saying? She. It's me again, baby! It's hey. me again! Circle. There you go. There you go. What? There you go. He's an incredible boxer. Very, very unorthodox. Oh, wow! He does things that just don't make sense. He grabbed the boxing book, looked at the text and said, I'm gonna do it my way. Andre looking to administer a classic beatdown. Became two divisional world champion. Looking to make my third now. Up, up. I know how to break down people. Andre responds with a crisp combination. And at the end of the day, it's like, I know I can fight. Once I really start getting in the groove of things and I know you can't do a certain thing or go a certain way because your body is not coordinated enough to do that, then it's and in, in, in still, in, in, in still. Andre! I give Demetrius a lot of props. He's a great fighter. You know, a lot of people have been ducking him for a long time. So I felt like I was in the seat that he was in, that nobody wanted to give him the opportunity. And so David and I was like, yo, bro, two prime guys at their best. I'm not afraid of David Benavides. I know he's a good fighter. I'm a great fighter as well. We're going to put it on the line. There's nothing that I can't do. You ain't ready for a war. My flag, his flag. The fans pay good money to see us fight. I'm such a hot ticket right now because everybody loves the way I fight. It's a fight. It's a fight. Like, we lose the draw. They gonna know they've been in the ring with Demetrius Andre. By the time my time is done, I'm gonna be a legend. They gonna know our names today. David Benavides, Demetrius Andre. From Michelob Ultra Arena, Mandalay Bay, Las Vegas, we are set for tonight's main event: a battle of two undefeated fighters, former two-time 168-pound champion David Benavidez battles former two-division champion
Demetrius Andrade. Somebody, though, has got to go. Not too many people are 10-year pros at the age of 26. He is, and we've chronicled the fact that parts of that journey ended up being a little difficult, but for the most part, what has been the hallmark of that boxing journey is he has put on entertaining fights for boxing fans. The, the fight with Caleb Plant was in a ring 22 by 22 feet. This one tonight, 20 by 20. Benavidez got his way there, Al. He's the champ. He's yeah. He's the maybe the marquee guy. The let's, yeah, let's look at uh, the tail of the tape now. For Demetrius Andre, up at a weight, he's only fighting at for the second time. Uh, it, up at 167 and a half. He came from 154, as we know, up to 160. Now up to this. How will he fare at this weight class against um, top opposition? We're going to find out. All right, the rules for our main event. No three knockdown rule, only the referee can stop the fight. Fighter cannot be saved by the bell in any round. Fight is official after round four. From the fight capital of the world, the Las Vegas, and for the final time on Showtime Pay-Per-View, it's the one and only Jimmy Lennon Jr. Ladies and gentlemen, we welcome you to the Michelob Ultra Arena here at the Mandalay Bay Resort and Casino in Las Vegas, Nevada, as Premier Boxing Champions presents the featured bout of the evening, brought to you by TGB Promotions, Samson Boxing, and Showtime Pay-Per-View. This bout is sanctioned by the WBC, President Mauricio Suleiman, and the supervisor is Rex Ross Walker. Along with the Nevada State Athletic Commission, the chairman, Dallas Hahn, executive director, Jeff Mullen. Introducing our three judges scoring from ringside. From Nevada, Tim Cheatham. From Oklahoma, David Sutherland. And from New Jersey, Steve Weisfeld. Introducing our third man to the ring, the referee in charge. He will be giving instructions after the introductions, Thomas Taylor. All right, fans, here we go with the main event of the evening. 12 rounds of boxing for the interim WBC Super Middleweight World Championship. And now, ladies and gentlemen in attendance and boxing fans joining us around the world, live from the Mandalay Bay Resort and Casino in Las Vegas, it's showtime! Introducing to you first on my right, fighting out of the red corner, wearing black and gold trunks, joining us from his home of Providence, Rhode Island. He weighed in at 167 and one half pounds. He is undefeated in his campaign to the ring with a record of 32 wins, no losses, with 19 wins coming by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the former U.S. Olympian, the former two-division champion of the world, and the current undefeated WBC number five world rank contender, introducing the acclaimed Demetrius Boo Boo. And his opponent across the ring on my left, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing green, white, and red trunks, fighting out of Seattle, Washington, by way of his home of Phoenix, Arizona. He weighed in at already 167 pounds. He also is undefeated in his campaign in the ring with a record of 27 wins, no losses, with 23 big wins coming by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the former two-time WBC super middleweight champion of the world, the undefeated, hard-hitting, current interim WBC super middleweight world champion known as the Mexican Monster, introducing David El Monstruo. Once again, a referee in charge, now to give instructions, Thomas Taylor. 
Back up, back up, back up, back up. Okay, corner man. Both waistbands are high on both sides, so they're gonna get the full waistband. Gentlemen, you got my instructions in the back. Protect yourselves at all times and listen to my commands. Touch them up, back to corner, gentlemen. The referee Thomas Taylor, 13 years of pro experience, working his 585th professional fight for Benavidez, facing his first lefty since he stopped Dennis Dudlin in the 10th round 12 fights ago in 2016. And for Demetrius Andrade, for the first time in his career, he's the betting underdog and he has scored 13 knockdowns in his last seven fights. The bell in round one, Andre used to starting explosively, tends to lose focus in the second half of fights, sees his punch output drop. He addressed that for this camp, working seven weeks in the Bay Area with Victor Conti, and Conti told us that there would be no way that Andre would fade in the second half of this fight, thanks to all the work he did preparing for the monster. Time will tell. And Benavides is aware that he didn't get off to the start he wanted to against Plan. Oh, and he feels he can do better early in this fight when, as you point out, Andre is a dangerous fighter. Yeah, I think if you're Andre, you don't want to start too fast. I mean, fast enough, but not too fast. You don't want to put yourself in a position where the monster, the heavier hander, I would say, uh, Benavides catches you with something. You want to be technician. You want to move to the side. Use those angles like he do, is doing right now. Andre off to the start that he wanted, utilizing the angles from the southpaw position. And again, it's been seven years since Benavides had to face the southpaw, but that's one way to try to get into the fight, attack the body immediately. And that's something Benavides doesn't always do but when he does it it's very effective and his favorite punch is the left hook to the liver yeah he's made it clear that is something he's gonna do he's got to get himself in position to throw left hooks to the body but that's what he wants to do in this fight yeah something he did against Caleb Plant that you know a lot of people weren't happy about was that he was head hunting too much looking for one shot power shots uh, you got to go back to the old David Benavides volume combinations. I mean, this is a guy that throws 10 punches, 11 punches combination. So still, you know, go back to that. 73% of Benavidez thrown combinations are, are power punches. 40% of Andrade's thrown combinations are jabs. So again, the boxer versus the puncher. Benavidez got a nice right hand in a moment ago, and that, of course, mm. is something Andre doesn't want to see. Andre going to the body with the left hands. Beautiful straight to the body from Andre, keeping Benavides at reach and stopping him on his track. That, I mean, that's a that's a shot that'll definitely hurt you. You know, a lot of people think that you know those are punches Watch that sometimes gentlemen. you catch, but they 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 hurt. There's a body shot from Benavides straight right to the bread basket of Andre. Thirty seconds left here in the first. Benavides lands a higher percentage than anyone else in boxing of his overall punch is 37%. So as this fight heats up, we'll see if he gets near that percentage. And Andre, one of the best defensive fighters. Yeah. He and Shakur Stevenson at number one Listen in terms of punches bell. landed against them in each round, less, just over five. That's pretty amazing. Hey, oh, a nice hey. combination to close out the round for Andre. Yeah, for Benavides, he wants to put Andre on the ropes where he can reel off those big combinations. And we talked about the body work, left hook to the body, wants to land that punch a lot. And during that first round, he did get in one of those straight right hands, uh, and he has a really good one. As for Andre, bank early rounds. He's good at that. Benavidez gave up some in his last fight. Tends to square up sometime. That would be a big issue in this fight where those right hands would come nonstop. And the step back left. He lures you in and then throws a nice straight left hand. That's how he's created a lot of those 13 knockdowns that Morrow referred to. Father and son in each corner. Andre trained by his father, Paul. Benavidez trained by his father, Jose. Second round, scheduled for 12. Andre on the attack. Just, just as Andre finished the last round, that's how he's starting. Fast combinations, 
Beautiful work right now from him. And we talked about it with Matias and Ergashev. You have to accept, and there's Andre doing good work. You have to know that these early stop, rounds stop, 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 may well stop. be very good for Andre. Andre. Andre bullying Benavides. And he's being warned for it. Thomas Taylor, one of the very best referees in boxing. His eyes are wide open. Speaking of Andre, I mean, he's alert. He's throwing those combinations, turning as he has to. Minute gone here in the second. Benavides overhand right. Andre looking to use that jab from the southpaw stance. Flashes it there, moving to his right, which of course he's been successful throughout his career, but there's that left hook from Benavides that he has to be wary of. And you know, just a reminder David, that you go. pointed out Dennis Douglin long time ago, long last time ago. lefty that Benavides had faced. So it could take him a few rounds, even though they've been sparring. Ooh, ooh, wow. Beautiful shot by Blistering Andre. combination by Andre. Wow, just the speed also, I mean. Well placed combinations stop, and the way stop, he keeps stop. turning. Listen, you want to keep listen. doing that. You want to keep stop. turning Benavides. You're causing your own foul. You're pulling them in. You're pulling the head in, all right? Go. Andrade countering let Benavides go, go. effectively. And Andrade Patriots, is putting, he's bullying the bigger guy. He's really closing, the, putting the pressure on Benavides. Not used to seeing fighters do this to Benavides. Yeah, he's being very physical on the inside. Yeah, he's making Benavides mother his, his offense in the inside by doing that. And Andre fighting off the front foot in this round, which is interesting. Yeah, definitely throwing Benavides off by doing that. Pushing him back with the jab. Standing right there where Benavides feels that he has an advantage, but boom, it's the, the, the fast speed from Andre. Benavides trying to get that jab off, and that would be a weapon that would help him uh, get his offense rolling. Andre, lateral movement, right uppercut missed. Benavides just out of range, and usually he's at the range he wants to be where he's able to deliver those belt, incredible, gentlemen. dazzling combinations, unable to do so thus far here against Andre. Good start for Andre. Fine, keep uh, going to your left. You're doing well, you're doing well. That's when you get to hit him. When you're going to your left. Let me get a little Vaseline there. Breathe nice and deep. Want a little more water? Keep touching. So there was this awkward action in the last round, but it is the kind of action that it surprises us a little because, as Mauro pointed out, it's Andrade kind of bullying uh, Benavides a little bit and being physical with him. And then the combination work that we saw from Andrade, you know, nice uppercut, double hooks, and not everything landed perfectly. Some of those were blocked, but a beautiful effort by Andre, and, and some of those got through. And by the way, Mike Tyson in christening Benavides, a Mexican monster, almost created an international incident. Benavides' grandmother's from Ecuador, so she would love a little love. <laughs> yes. So he is only the monster from now on. He's Mexican, he Ecuadorian, American, and there yeah, Andre up, goes up, to the right, bottom, right? maybe a little love. You don't want to make your grandmother yeah, mad at right. you for, and even Mike Tyson shouldn't do it. <laughs> Yeah, Benavides got to start closing the gap. You got to get a lot mm. closer than, than where he is right now because that's the wow. distance that Andre likes. <laughs> We're used to seeing fast combinations from, from Benavides. Benavides it's yes. Andre that's delivering so far, and we've seen it out of him in the past. Yeah, but, and again, the reminder, these early rounds, Andre expected to win some of these early rounds. He wants to and bank I'm them. telling you, but yet bank him, which we said in the keys. And and Benavides, it takes him, it mm -hmm. just does take him four, three or four rounds to really get it going. There's the left hook from Benavides. It doesn't diminish what Andre's doing. He's and fighting very well. to admire Andre as best. Abner mentioned, he's smothering Benavides. He's not giving him room to establish yeah, distance, know. even close-range distance. Andre is fighting a smart fight right now. Really smart fight. 
he right, definitely stop, stop, know. Stop. He, he, back, he studied Benavides so well. He's doing a lot of things, fighting from the outside, smothering uh, Benavides' offense by getting the inside, churning him. I mean, just brilliant so far from, from Andre. Well, and the and key he has is to echo what yeah. else said. There is that button. <laughs> right. No, and but he, what he's doing, which is really excellent, he's mixing his looks, and that's impressive. Of course, that's yeah, impressive. he's showing different things. Right. And utilizing lateral movement, Benavides wanted to, needed to cut off the ring. I mean, Unable to do so right now. Guys, there's a reason why he was so avoided. <laughs> I mean, look at this guy. So, I mean, he's so talented. And, Former Olympian. And the 20-foot the ring thing could ultimately be, have, play an impact on this because as this fight goes on, and again, a reminder, Andre hasn't always done well in the later rounds. So here's Benavides trying, starting to pick up the pace offensively. Yeah, here and comes landed. Benavides in round three. Less than a minute left. Sits down on that right hand. Nails him with the jab in the right. Now Benavides coming forward. And remember in the plant fight, one fight changed things. And we could feel the power making a difference in this round for Benavides. Caleb Plant's trainer, Stephen Bedman Edwards, said it was a body shot in the sixth that really started to take the life out of Plant into the second half. Well, here in round three, Benavides already picking up. Yeah, this, the fight changed here in the last 35 seconds. Whether it'll continue to go that way is another question, but it changed. But look how he's closing the gap now, Benavides. He, he wasn't giving, you know, seconds ago, Andre the opportunity to get that jab going. Once you get, get, let him get that jab going, it's going to be more difficult. Good comeback there by Andre in a round in which he was being controlled for the last minute. Let's get more on these two undefeated fighters from Steve Farhood. Mo, well, we're going to show you what we call fight resumes. First, David Benavides. He's already twice won world titles at super middleweight. But he feels his biggest fights are still ahead of him, and at age 26, why not? One of those big fights, of course, is tonight. You see, he's ranked number one by The Ring magazine, behind only the unified and undisputed champion Canelo Alvarez. 4-0 with two knockouts in world title fights. We take a look at Demetrius Andre, Southpaw. It would seem unlikely, but even after 15 years as a pro and world titles at two weights, Andre's most definitely facing his best opponent, the David Benavides. For that reason, this is easily also his most important fight. And for Benavides, facing his first undefeated fighter since 2016, the same year he last faced a lefty, two different opponents, so it's it's been a while and we saw Benavides come to life in three. So the third round by far the best round for Benavides and that was incidental. I don't think that was that low. Yeah, I didn't think it was either to be honest. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, even Taylor saying, hey, wait a minute, don't sell it. <laughs> I'm not buying what you're selling, kid. <laughs> Thomas Taylor was a bit skeptical. <laughs> Incidental potty shot, okay. <laughs> right. He sold it good. He sold it good. Now, now we're back to the fight, and again, Benavidez trying to close that gap, trying to go back to you know, himself, the bully, the monster. And you know, ben, Benavidez now pushing him on the ropes much more. Nice uppercut. And that... And there's that left over yeah, the body. That's what he wants to do. And Andre unloading combinations. Great speed. Goes to the body. Misses with that chopping right. There's a straight right to the body by Benavidez. The question will be, can Andre do this, fight like this, mm. over a long period of time and not be hurt by Benavidez? And that right uppercut, uppercut on yeah. the inside by Benavidez, one of his money punches. That's and by the way, Andre's got a nice uppercut as well. Oh, he's got a beautiful jab, uppercut, combination. Mm. I mean, he left has a little bit of the everything. Body by Andre. And he, he keeps turning Benavides. You want oh. to keep doing that. And continues to invest to the body. Minute and a half left here in the fourth. I got to be honest, though. You get the feeling that this fight is mm. one punch. For, I'm not suggesting it. I hear you. not doing I it. I hear he, you. He's doing it. But every once in a while, he seems like he's... One of those punches is a little daunting for him. We'll see. See, the referee wasn't buying what Andre was selling. Yeah. I'm buying what you're selling. <laughs> yeah, well, and I don't know that, you know, it's going to do that, but it, it feels that way. 
Double jab from Andrade, and that's something we haven't seen. In, in the past, the double jab left hand has been effective for Andrade. Hasn't been able to unload the double jab much. Yeah, and then right now he's showing us he's so effective with the, the double, triple jab. Keep turning and the left, that's the softball. But to, talking to what Al's mentioning, Benavides is breaking down Andrade here in the fourth round. His body language seems different. We'll see. You know, it might not be as dramatic as we might think, but it, there's a change. <laughs> Again, I mean, that's what Benavides is known for, yes, right? Yes, of I mean, course. Breaking you down, walking you down. Yeah, he's going to take a shot here and there, but oh, eventually right he'll get uppercut. one of those shots in. Andrade has to watch out. Of doubles over. He's susceptible to the uppercut. Eats that long-range right hand. And so David Benavides here in the fourth round coming on, although Andrade's still there as tries to deliver the jab. Left hand of the body. Four-punch combination by Andrade. Oh, heavy right hand. Down goes Andrade in the fourth. Opportunities. Stop standing in front of them and waiting. Just keep walking the circle. Well, we said it felt like something was going to happen power wise, and it did. That right hand hurt Andrade and sent him down. And we'll get another look at it here. Just, I mean, Put it right, the left hand was up for Andre, but he placed it perfectly. Yeah, you can, you can see how David just loaded up to, with that right hand. He pulls back, there it is, and boom! Right in the face of Andre, and definitely heard him put him down. The power of David Benavides. Round at number five, Demetrius Andre was knocked down against Alantis Fox in 2017, it was really a slip. The video replay showed no punch landed. But in November of 2013, he went down against Vanis Martirosian, a left hook in the first round, and down here tonight David, up, against David. Benavides. Big uppercut by Benavides. And I, I don't think uh, Andre looks all back yet. He still hasn't recovered from that. Oh, another heavy right hand that rocked Andre. Trying to keep him off with the jab. And the problem is Andre landed a bunch of good punches in the first couple rounds, but he is a 154 pounder coming up. And he I, it, in just a second fight at 168 yeah, pounds. Exactly. And another thing, the problem is he's not doing enough in this round to keep Benavides off him. He's right. just pulling back. He's pulling straight back. And I should correct myself. Originally at 154. Of course, he's at one, was at 160 prior to this. And now, now he gets a jab. trying to buy himself some time using the jab, trying to help clean out the cobwebs. A minute 45 left in the fifth. Benavides continues to walk him down, lands the uppercut on the inside. Andre has not landed a punch according to show oh, sets yet in this another round. Another uppercut by Benavides. Another uppercut by Benavides. He's hurt. He's just trying to protect himself. He, he, he feels that if he throws one punch, he's going to be yes. open to get hit with the big shot. Yep. Mm. Andre hanging on for dear life. Benavides looking to finish the fight here in the fifth. Oh, Andre lands a counter combo, but then there's that blistering hand. is on the prowl. A minute left in the fifth. Body shot by Benavides. Boy, Andre landed a real nice punch and didn't do anything to Benavides. And Benavides continues to stalk. Cuffing right hand. There's the overhead. Those body shots are amazing. Who said Benavides couldn't fight a boxer? <laughs> I mean, 
Left hook lands for Benavidez upstairs. Well, this is a continuation of the last part of the Taylor Plant fight where yeah. he was doing this. And Al Bernstein, you said once the volume machine starts rolling, it's hard to stop for David Benavidez. Yeah. Unloads another combination. Well, David Benavides has an excellent uppercut, uh, and he's used it very effectively in many fights, and there he just used it against Andre. And he's got, you know, his, his, the variety of his punches. And there's the left hook, which we've seen a lot of in this fight, to both the body and the head. And he didn't abandon the body during the course of that round, but there's another beautiful right. Just, uh, and the uppercut, a variety of punches. Once he found that uppercut, he said, I'm gonna use it, keep using it. And that was a rough round for Andre. We begin round six. Dr. Tristan Cooper checking on Andre. Andre has taken a lot of shots. Referee Taylor saying, you have to show me something here in round six. You ready? Time in. Well, if I'm not mistaken, Andre Rozier even said, you know, you don't stand in front of him. I think he said, we're going to have to stop this if you keep doing it. I may have misheard. I don't know, but it seemed like that. Stop. Time. Right here. Come here. You know, he's gotten a lot of time here, Andre. Andre. A veteran. Yeah, because hey, maybe of that. Maybe a page out of Diego Corrales' <laughs> yeah. playbook of the classic in this right very here. building in 2005. You were ringside that 10th round where he spit on the oh. mouthpiece after being dropped twice by Castillo, only to roar back and conclude the best fight I have ever seen, period, full stop. Yeah, we're really, and here we are again. <laughs> well, the, you know... A huge edge for, uh, not an edge, a huge margin for Benavides. And it's all come in the last couple of rounds. You know, he's now landing 34% of his power punches, everything other than the jab. After about a round and a half, he'd only landed like 12%. But, you know, now it's all slowing his way. And you can sense it's just a matter of time for Benavides. And the reason is, Andrade is not doing enough to keep Benavides off him. Yeah. You either Easier have to, said than done. Yeah, you either have to box perfectly for 12 rounds or hurt oh. David Benavides. Anything in between and you're in trouble. And every punch that Benavides is now throwing, and it's not maybe a lot, he's landing effectively, and he's got Andre literally on the ropes. Uppercut again, rocks Andre. Andre trying to block, trying to defend. The, one of the best defensive fighters in the sport. Show me Not tonight. And and nothing coming back offensively oh. for him. Trying, but nothing with anything on it. Yeah, no power behind those punches from Andre. And again, man, be this beautiful body shot. And this is where he wants him. This is the range, clubbing left hand. There's a right uppercut on the inside by Andre. Doesn't even bother. Benavidez, a minute left in the sixth. And unlike some fighters, Benavidez will not abandon his body attack. I wouldn't be shocked if a body punch was the one that sent Andre down if he goes, if Andre goes down again. Oh, left up, wow. right, left right up, right up. Here comes oh, Andre. Did that hurt him? Another right uppercut by Andre, the heart of a champion, a former two division champion. Finally getting the marquee Lucas, fight he's always wanted, but getting oh, much more than that. Wow. Mouthpiece has been knocked up again by Benavides. Oh. And Andre trying to hold on as he got rocked with that left hook. David Benavides battering Andre. Uppercut, left hook. Oh, stop, stop, stop. Time. Good work by Thomas Taylor. He waited the appropriate amount of time. Oh, right hand by Benavides. We have reached the midway point. The Benavides show is rolling. Talk to me, talk to me. 
talk to me. Brother. Demetrius, I cannot see another round like that. Guys, I won't let another round go like that. Guys, I'm not going to watch that again, all right? Do it, do it. Stop, stop, stop. to his first loss. The monster, one scary dude. What a beautiful show of respect. And it was throughout the build up to the fight, mutual respect between these two athletes. Oh, was, but what a performance from David Benavides. A style that, you know, a lot of people said that was going to give him problems. And it, it kind of started like that. Andre started working really good with the jab, straight punches, fast combinations. Good. The numbers, uh, listen, he ended up landing 40, almost 40% 40 of his power punches, everything other than the jab, as he drinks in the adulation of this very pro Benavides crowd. Those numbers, the percentages were way low after two rounds. He raised all of them and in the process won a fight against a fighter who was fighting very well early, but you got the feeling it was a matter of time. Inside the ropes and look at this fight in microcosm. Early on, on Andrade was throwing excellent combinations, getting a lot of them in, not everything landing, but he was throwing some really nice combinations and showing the slipperiness that we know he has. Then things started to inexorably turn. That right hand was the big one. That was the one that sent him down and that completely altered the the texture of this fight and the left hook a big part of uh benavides's uh, arsenal he landed a variety of punches abner and at the end of the day that's as much the story in what we're just watching this four different punches right yeah it wasn't just the overhand right it wasn't just the jab or the uppercut i mean it was all of that and more body shots that he was throwing David Benavides. I mean, just brilliant performance. And again, adding to the fact that a lot of people said they know this style was gonna give him problems. Again, it started that way, but the way that Benavides finished, it's all that matters. David Benavides expecting, his family expecting their second child. There's the man who christened him, the Mexican monster, Mike Ooh, Tyson. Careful. <laughs> celebrating with Benavides. Going from one KO machine <laughs> to another. Time for a photo. <laughs> That's a scary selfie. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Let's make it official with Jimmy Lennon Jr. Ladies and gentlemen, this bout has been stopped at the end of round number six. A referee in charge, Thomas Taylor, stops the contest upon request of the corner. He is the winner by way of technical knockout, and he is still undefeated, and still the interim WBC super middleweight world champion, the Mexican monster, David El Monstruo. Benavides! He promised to begin another stoppage streak. He stops the previously unbeaten Demetrius Andrade. And around six, David Benavides remains undefeated, and he will speak with Brian Campbell. David Benavides, you took on a fighter tonight that no one wanted to face. You stopped him in the sixth round. 
What did you prove tonight? Um, with the, uh, first of all, I want to thank God. I want to thank Al Heyman too, and I want to thank uh, Showtime for allowing me to be here to fight the, fight the last paper you card. And I want to thank all my people. Muchas gracias a toda la gente que vino a apoyar. Los quiero mucho. And um, I just, I think I just solidified myself as, you know, the dominant performer that I am. And I think it was just a reminder to let everybody know who the fuck the real champion is. That what 68 is. They want to see me versus Canelo, and that's what we want too. I'm the youngest super middleweight champion in the world, three-time world champion. Now just give me, give me the fight that we all want to see. Who wants to see David Benavidez versus Canelo? That's what you guys want to see? Let's get it. You, you had a great embrace outside with Mike Tyson who gave you the monster nickname. What did he say to you after this performance? I, I just told Mike Tyson that I love him and thank you so much for the motivation he's giving me. Um, it's not every day a, a, a boxing legend like Mike Tyson gives people nicknames, so I just want to live up to my name. It seemed going to the body early was a big part of your attack. How were you able to slow down such a tricky fighter? Because of hard work and dedication I put in, man. Everybody says that I'm not this, I'm not that. I'm flat footing, no defense. This guy had probably one of the best defenses. He's really good offensive, he could barely even hit, hit me. So I think that just says a, a lot on its own. This was a very close fight until things changed in round four. We have the replay here. Talk to me through the punch and the setup here that turned the fight around. Um, I think the first shot I caught him with was uh, I dipped his left hand and came back with a uh, right hand and that hit on the button. Um, and I know I just had to keep putting the pressure on because he wasn't going to keep uh, taking those shots. You're a former two-time champion. You're the interim champion. You're the number one contender. What do you have to do now to fight for the undisputed championship? I just have to keep beating whoever they're putting in front of me. This, I'm the best. I'm going to be the, uh, the best. I'm going to be a legend by the time my time is done. So I don't care. They keep putting them in front of me. I'm going to keep knocking them down. You mentioned Canelo Alvarez, the undisputed champion. Do you have a message for him this evening? I will just, let's give the people what they want to see. They want to see David versus Benavidez versus Canelo. That says, that says enough on the song right there. Congratulations, David, on a great performance. Thank you, guys. I appreciate everybody and I love everybody. Thank you. Thank you once again, man. Demetrius Andrade, a couple words for you after a courageous performance. You were very physical against the monster early. How effective do you believe your game plan was early in rushing and crowding him? Um, I thought um, I did everything I needed to do to get the bigger man off me. David is definitely a hell of a fighter. Nobody was willing or able to get in the ring with him. Same in my just. I tried to become a three-division world champion. That's not far-fetched. David was the man today. Congratulations to him and his family. And we move on and we're going to keep pushing. You waited 15 years for this moment, for this opportunity. How pleased are you with yourself with what you showed in the toughest fight of your career? I mean, listen, um, I have long layovers. I only fought early January um, of last year, maybe one fight before then. So, you know, I was trying to get my timing. I did what I had to do. Training camp was great. Uh, I just fought the bigger man. I'm not gonna say he was the better skillful man, but he's a bigger man. I try to go to the new weight class, just I said, like I said. And um, congratulations to him, and I'll be back. You know, just gotta go back to the drawing board, work on my body a little more, and I think we right back at it. Demetrius, you had some nice moments early. In round four, we can look at the replay. A right hand was able to drop you. What happened on that punch? I'm listen, um, David's just a big dude, you know. At the end of the day, he, th he throws some tough shots. He's a, he's a hell of a fighter, too, as well. I just thought um, my skills would have overwhelmed him, but his size and um, strength definitely got on um, the better hand today. We saw a nice, respectful moment between the two of you afterwards. How good is David Benavides? Listen, it's not that he's um, a greater, skillful fighter than me. I'm moving up to the three division. This is my third division, trying to be a world champion. I came to fight the bigger man. Nobody's willing to get in the ring with me. Nobody's willing to get in the ring with him. So I showed balls. I showed what I got. And today, I put it on the line. And um, this was my second fight at 168 pounds. And I did what I had to do today. Thank you so much, Demetrius. Yeah, for sure. God bless everybody that came out. Thanks for supporting boxing, myself and David. And um, salute. Let's go back to Mo Ronaldo at ringside. Thank you, Brian. Two class acts, two great ambassadors of the sport, and uh, the bigger, better man won tonight. And, I, and, and congrats to Demetrius Andred for the, the courage he showed in this fight and the start, but I'm going to correct him. <laughs> the man he was facing is very skilled. Yes, he is. I know he was just He's not just bigger yeah, and stronger. Yeah, he's not just bigger he's and stronger. Skilled. He's skillful, too. And he showed that again. I got to emphasize that. Uh, David Benavidez showed that he can fight any style. 
tricky fighter that he had in front of him, and he just outworked him, was in front of him, and it just did a phenomenal job today, David Benavides. Let's bring in Steve Farhood to go over the scores at the time of the stoppage. Well, Mo, there were six completed rounds in this fight, and interestingly, after three rounds, Andre was actually ahead on two of the three cards. Steve Weisfeld scored the first three rounds for Andre, and Tim Cheatham scored the first two rounds for Andre. So he was off to a good start, but then, of course, in the, in the fourth round, there was a knockdown. All three judges scored 10-8 for Benavides, and Andre won no more rounds. You take a look at my card. I gave Andre the second round. All three judges did the same. And uh, otherwise, it was all Benavides, especially after that uh, N8 round in round four. With devastating punches and an indomitable spirit, the boxer nicknamed Monster leaves a trail of destruction in the ring. David Benavides will go down in history as the final victor on Showtime Pay-Per-View.